Hello and welcome to my beer trip of Hereford. Now this should have been done a long time ago, but the, the simple fact of the matter is I've not really found the time to be able to do this video. Yeah, I have always wanted to visit Hereford for some unknown reason, to be honest with you. It's just a place that I just always fancied going. Um, I don't know if it's because of the, the bull, and I've always had a weird thing for cows. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is. But it's also always a really nice place to visit, and it's not the easiest to get to. It is not; it's not too bad, but the distance is quite measurable. I thought while well, I'm down that way, I may as well go to Hereford, and uh, I'm glad I did. It satisfied a curiosity I've had for a very long time, to be honest with you. And I finally managed to go to a bar I have wanted to go for years and years and years. To be perfectly honest with you. And uh, yeah, he, he, he didn't let me down. He didn't let me down. But uh, yeah, I got to Hereford train station. I got there. It was a really nice day, to be perfectly honest with you. And um, I won't lie, I had a bit of a hangover from <laughs> that first night in Worcester. I was starving. I had nothing to eat. So yeah, I made my way to the other side of Hereford. I actually walked around Hereford to get to this Place. I was like walking towards, I saw Hereford United's ground over there, which to be fair looks quite, it's not a very big ground and you know, I'm, I'm, obviously I'm a Stoke fan so obviously I see, I've see i been to bigger grounds, I've seen bigger grounds, but it's just how it was, it looked quite intimidating to be fair, it was quite, it's like slightly built up a little bit and it looked quite big from me on the level floor, I was like, it, was, it looked a lot more impressive than he kind of does. <laughs> In reality, I'd, I'd like to go again to Perth, honestly, obviously with the, uh, the FA Cup history and the, and all that. And maybe maybe one day I will. Yeah, I carried on round through this back street and then through these, this little gap and then down a brook. Um, it seemed like it was a, a normal dog walking zone. Um, I saw the two football, the two non leaguers, I think it's Harry Pegasus, I think it is. And their steam is there. I can't quite remember what the other one's called. Then I looked at my phone and he said, Go up here. And I was like, Where the frigging are you taking me here? And uh, yeah, um, I won't lie, if I was in literally any other city or even major town, I'd think twice about walking, to be honest with you. Um, locally, it is called the Dodgy Bit <laughs> or Dodge Alley or something like that. It's one of the two. Um, yeah, it's basically a single filed. Uh, walkway with factories on either side. I wish I recorded it all just to show you how trapped and enclosed it was. It was literally single file. Yeah, it was very, very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. And if that was in Stoke, I. You'd be asking for trouble, to be honest with you. But uh, thankfully, I was in such a really nice place. Didn't really see anyone, to be honest with you. Uh, I managed to walk past the uh, Bournemouth factory. Yeah, the point of the trip was to visit a quite famous uh, butcher's slash pie shop type thing selling hot foods. Um, it's called Heggie's. Now, this has got a really good reputation um, within Herefordshire and on doing a bit of research. A lot of people go rave about it, go crazy about it. And um, yeah, I had to go, really. <laughs> so I tried a uh, Herefordshire pasty. Now, as you can see from the the film, um, it's a lot thinner than a normal standard pasty. Um, the only the only quabble I really really minus the price was the fact it didn't go to the ends. It was quite pastryfied, and obviously, if I want pasty, I want it filled full of the meat, which was tasty, and the uh, the actual pastry was tasty. Um, it just felt a little bit on the pricey side. And I did take home a scotch egg, which was really, really solid, decent scotch egg. Um, the only regret I did get is not bringing a pie, because the pies looked immense. But yeah, if you're in Herefordshire, you fancy trying um, a pasty and stuff, I recommend it, you know, to go and a little, a little drop in, treat yourself. So yeah, after my fuel, my refillment, <laughs> my desperate need for food, uh, less any there, uh, I went straight to the pub, obviously, because <laughs> it's me. Yeah, it was called The Beer in Hand. Really nice place. Uh, good selection of beers. Um, ciders as well. I'm not really into ciders. I kind of regret not having any, to be honest with you. 
But yeah, if you like, they had everything, you know, um, price wise, really, really good. Um, the guy behind the, the counter was a really nice bloke, let me film in there. Um, yeah, it seemed like a nice place, you know, so there's plenty of people in with the, bringing the kids in and dogs and stuff like that. It was a really nice chilled out place, mate. and obviously with a bit of a hangover and feeling a bit sorry for myself, um, it was a really nice way to spend uh, an hour and a half, I think I was in there. I didn't have many. So the first beer in the beer in hand was uh, by Polly. It was Yearn and Fall. I can't quite remember the ABV. Um, I think it was about 5, 5.5%, five something like that. I did nurse it. I went, <laughs> it took me a while, quite, it took quite a while to drink this. Not because it was bad or anything, it was a very typical tasty poly really like Marlon he carried in there's a bit of sabro in there and chocolate fruits and stuff like that citrusy it was just it was a very very normal for poly standard yeah and the second beer was by Pomona Island and in collaboration with Vavar who are based in Ukraine obviously you can tell from the label uh, is in association and you know with Ukrainian war Sadly, one of the brewers at Vavar, I don't know if it was at the time of this, um, sadly passed away fighting for his country. Yeah, he was a, a very, very good dipper. Um, you know, Pomona really do these big beers really well. And a few from Vavar um, have been really good as well. Uh, he was a really, really good dipper. It didn't take me that long to drink that one. But uh, yeah, really good stuff. I also wanted to check... Uh, just one of the pubs that did Wine Valley's beers. He was at the Lamb Hotel. I can't quite remember what the actual pub is called. I think it's something different. Uh, but if you type in either or, you'll, you'll get to the same place. I had I got told afterwards um, they were a bit hit and miss. Um, in my, I think I got a bit of a miss later. I didn't actually record the beer. Um, it was a lovely pub, don't get me wrong. It was really fun, absolutely packed full. The people behind the bar were lovely and... I'd recommend going because it probably is the best chance of getting a really good butty back down there. I decided to finally go Hereford Beer House. This is the place that made me want to come Hereford the most. It was such a good bar, such a good bar. And I mean, yeah, it was it was worth going Hereford just for this alone, to be perfectly honest with you. Maybe the reason why I probably would come back Hereford, apart from watch a game uh, at Edgar. Edgar Street. Everything, the, the beer selection, the, the quantity, the quality, the variety was immense. You had everything, anything you could want in your head, the type of style anyway. Obviously, I've got everybody beer in the world, but any style you fancy, they've got here. They've got here. They had excellent gin lagers, which I was, I've never seen before. Um, they had Rausch beers in there, they had sours, they had every type of IPA, every type of Belgian you'd like. Um, they had a good lager on tap if you aren't too fussed about craft beer. The owner was just an absolute top, top bloke. And the people who were in there were really good people and I had a really good chat with everyone who came in, to be honest with you, uh, including a little lovely uh, dog <laughs> who's been a little sob, but lovely. Yeah, it was just such a good place to be. And he's just... I, I, I was glad my train kind of cocked up to me. I spent another hour in there than I was planning to. Such a good place. You've got to go. If you're in Hereford, go. Best best bar you'll get around there by far. And I just saw this German lager in there. I've never seen it before. Uh, it was delicious. I even can't quite remember the name, to be honest. It's, it's a quite a complex German name. What a lager that was. Uh, it was like good. I brought a couple back home with me. Yeah, it's just this cracking, cracking lager, to be honest. Really ready and refreshing and lemon in there it was just classy German lager really good stuff as well I saw an overturn beer in there which I hadn't had at the time this was retro storm coming at eight percent and yeah overturn really don't miss and this was another absolute banger of uh of juice bomb to be honest with you overturn do, don't do much wrong last year they were my brew of the year so yeah following that lovely slab of overturn juice this was a quite a small brewery based in Bridgend in Wales, so it isn't too far from Hereford. So it's kind of localish. It's kind of localish. Um, this was Dog's Window Brewery. This was it's a crossbreed. 
a 7.2% coconut stout. Yeah, what, what what do I say about this beer? Um, on on tap, it's got really good ratings. The brewery itself's got really good ratings, and this is the kind of problem with using Untapped. This is a forewarning of Untapped. Um, not that I'm going to completely bash the beer or the brewery. Definitely not. It's, def it's never my intention to do that with all, any of these videos, unless I drink one of their beers and it's bloody awful. I will mention it. Um, it was a perfectly fine stout. The roasty toastiness of it, the roastiness and you know, it was quite intense, which I liked, to be honest with you. Uh, the coconut aspect was good. It wasn't amazing. I've had better. Um, the body was the issue here with me. It was just too carbonated and fizzy and a bit thin. I don't like stouts too carbonated. Um, it was a decent enough beer. I'd like to try their beers again. Price-wise, it was really quite cheap and checked online. When they did sell it, it was just over five quid for direct from the brewery too. So it was a decent value beer, but... It wasn't brilliant either, to be perfectly honest with you. So yeah, my final beer of, sadly, my final beer and the little mecca of beer that is this bottle shop. Uh, this was the Weissenauer Green Monkey Mandarina. It was a really interesting long. It had quite a bitter finish, but it was a nice fruitiness like gooseberry, strawberry. It did remind me of a drink. I, I remember saying it at the time, but I can't quite remember what I said. Um... <laughs> It was bloody ages ago, I can't remember. What else can I say? It was just a, such a good experience in there. But yeah, to finish off my experience, it wasn't all to be. I had to show you these. Um, I, was, I did do a video, but I did it wrong for some daft bloody reason. Uh, so you can get still pictures instead. This was two farmers, woodland mushroom and wild garlic crisps. They were from a local uh, crisp maker. And these... Probably might be the best crisps I've ever had. Yeah, them crisps were outstanding. You can buy them online. Such good crisps, I must say. That's the end of my Hereford trip. Anyone from Hereford or the local area, did I miss out a gem? Um, I hope not. <laughs> I did get I did get some comments in the Worcester one. He was like a load of good pubs I missed, but obviously time. I, mean, I can only do so much. Hope, like I've said, I hope, I hope to visit again because. Everything about it was really good, and especially the people. I, I know I mentioned the people before, but every person I came in contact with were absolutely lovely, genuine people, and and especially in the last place, I had such a good conversation uh, with everybody who walked through the door, and yeah, that's from Hereford, and if that doesn't make you want to go, I don't know what will, even just for the bloody crisps alone, just go for them. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you in the next one, which will be quite soon because there is a bit of sad twist to this one. Uh, well, to the next one. It's Burton to the next one. Hopefully I'll get this up in the next couple of weeks because I really need to, to be honest with you. But anyway, catch you all later. Cheers.